What are you pups doing, huh? Chippy, Ripley. All right, we're ready to go. Cool beans. Yeah, Chippy. It. <laughs> she sitting like a human. <laughs> All right, it is almost 8 a.m. Monday morning, and we are packed up and hitting the road for Las Vegas. Marlene is following along in the Forerunner, and Alex, myself, <laughs> Chippy, and Ripley will be car hopping between the two, <laughs> the Recovery and the Infinity. <laughs> we are <clears throat> all piled in the Infinity, so let's go. and you won't be sad. <laughs> we are in Barstow, California right now. And we're a couple hours out from Vegas uh, to Kevin's house. We're just fueling up, letting the dogs breathe a little bit. Yep. And uh, yeah, so we are in Barstow, California. So we might have just done some risky business by trying to get a photo just now on this dope hillside. Uh, you'll see what it was for, but right now we're stuck in some mushy stuff. Potentially we have to hit it with speed and it might be fun or it might get stuck. We'll see. Stay tuned. So we came out here to shoot some photos of the queue and got told it was private property. So he let us take a few photos, but we almost got stuck getting out here, as Alex already said. So we're gonna try to straight hammer it, straight line out the way we came, and pray we don't get the thing stuck. <laughs> Man. Yeah. But at least we've got a four-wheel drive uh, yeah, lifted. Yeah, we have the recovery vehicle yeah. on site, for <laughs> sure. That's which is dope, but yeah. this we're... still is a little weird and not fun. We got some sweet photos though, so we're yeah. gonna try to get out of here and keep hammering to Vegas. I mean, just uh, look at that. Just have them look at that. It looks sick as hell on that hillside. It's sweet. That looks cool. Mars landscape. Yeah. Don't don't dig a rut. This thing's rear wheel drive and it's so heavy. All right. <laughs> oh, let's Never go. lift. Never lift ever. This is like it's like quicksand. Oh up man, here. just keep it moving. I'm keeping it moving, dude. Keep We're hammering. It. It's already it is spinning. So bad. Here we go. <laughs> oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. So oh, yes. Oh, yes. Got yeah. It. We, we got, got it. it. We got well, it. Nothing. We don't stress him. Nothing. We're done with this. Oh my we're at the bottom out here though. Oh. No, we're good. Oh, we're good. She's not Mushy. slammed yet. All right, we did it, dude. <laughs> we're <Hell> at. <laughs> we have made it to Las Vegas. We are at my good friend Kevin Furness's house right now. Q45 is doing pretty well so far. We've done, I don't know, four, four and a half hours. Yeah. Um, the dogs have done pretty well. We'll see how Marlene liked the drive. How'd you like the drive, Marlene? Didn't mind it? No, it was lovely. That's good. How about you, Chippy? <laughs> Chippy, what do you think? <laughs> driving this that far, you know. Well, I mean, like, I'm, I'm going to be, like, driving this all the way across the country. Yeah, so it's, well, like, my first time. And, you know, yeah. you know I already told the Alex. I also drop in with you. Yes. Time, yeah, I know, but not... I want to do it myself. That's awesome. I just, like, I'm just going to complain about it, but I want to do it. Yeah, oh, okay. yeah. Because I'll just feel, you know, like a boss has. What? <laughs> well, you are. So, no, like I told him, I was like, "Yeah, obviously we can rotate if you yeah, want yeah. company to stay awake. Mm -hmm. You know, if you don't, if you don't want to drive." No, <laughs> right, Chippy? <laughs> I love her. So we're here with Kevin. We're in Vegas. Kevin is. Ooh. Ooh. Kevin and I met through the Take, which was the company that actually Alex was a team manager of for a little bit. 
and Kevin did a lot of the graphic work and a lot of the des design work for the take, and now he's out here in Vegas as, I'm going to say, a renowned tattoo artist. Renowned. Even though... I love that. Even though like, oh, I don't know. I don't. <laughs> but we're going to go get some food now. Um, Alex and Marlene are getting an Airbnb. I'm going to crash here with Kevin. And um, yeah, Kevin's done... 95% of all my tattoo work. And I'm not body suited up or anything like that, but what was it, your second tattoo you'd ever done? Close, gotta be. Probably not second, more like fifth. Yeah, my first tattoo was Kevin, one of Kevin's first tattoos. So, we go back, <laughs> we go back. But now we're getting food, and then we're gonna ride. We're gonna find a place to ride and not die in the sun, and um, relax. Probably have Kevin on the podcast too. I'm gonna talk him into it. I'm gonna literally talk him into it. <laughs> Kevin and I are at the Anthem Skate Park here in Las Vegas. The last time I rode this skate park was in 2008 at Interbike, which is the world's largest cycle trade show. It's basically the SEMA of the cycle industry. And uh, when him and I were both in the industry, I was coming out here every year for Interbike. It's the last weekend of September still boiling hot out here and I've never had a chance to see or ride this skate park when there's like an average amount of people in there because during Interbike every pro and everyone that's a part of the BMX industry is here in town worldwide so you can imagine how crazy this skate park is during their weekend we're out here at the Silverado Ranch skate park mm -hmm. in Las Vegas we didn't get a single clip at Anthem because it was a little busy and I ate it hard on the way in. I like fell right over the bars, down a concrete bank, and then was not feeling it. So we're at this park, which is really cool. It's simple, but there's nobody here. And uh, as you can tell my lack of breath, we've been already riding. So we're gonna try to get a few clips here and actually show you guys uh, some maneuvers. Some bicycle motocross? Yep. Oh. <laughs> that even better. Oh, God. Yo. Ah, this is a good Feeble the whole thing. <laughs> it's a toothpick. <laughs> oh, no. Damn it. <laughs> Did you get it around? <laughs> Man, you all right? Yeah, yeah, you good? Fine, you got body so bagged. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, I'll get that. That's your problem right there. Yeah, it's a dip. <laughs> nope, we're gonna do that again. <laughs> <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> oh man, it my foot blew off straight yeah, up. Yeah, he still pulled it. <laughs> yeah. There it is, I'll take that pivot. That was it. That. that was it? Bam. Bam. Yes. Look. Oh, no. oh no. Almost. <gasps> yes, sir. Yes, sir. It was good. It was good. It was good. Yeah. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, Kevin, when you get over that little hump, with the roof, like right over that little comfy. Gotta lean forward. That was all squarely on that. A little bit, you got it. Yeah, yeah. That was it. Yo! Yes, 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 <laughs> yes. I Hell yeah, dude. Side, though. 
So we're stationing this flat ledge here and there's a bank on either side and it slides really, really well. And I've never done an ice pick grind to bar spin out of all of the, yeah, yeah Kevin. Out of all the bar spin in and bar spin out tricks I've done over the years, uh, I'd never really ever learned an ice pick grind to bar spin. I'd done bar spin to ice pick stalls, ice pick stalls to bar spin, uh, never, never did an ice pick grind to bar. And that's like a common trick now, like easily. Like, it seems like everybody does that. But since we've got the session going, I'm gonna try to do my first ice pick grind to bar spin. I'm gonna learn a trick tonight. Oh. Yeah! <laughs> As an almost 36 year old dude who took a decade off from riding, I'm gonna try an ice pick grind of bar spin. And they're super technical, they're kinda of hard, but I'm gonna try it. Fucking big! Oh, I was hoping that was it, I was still rolling. We're gonna do this one for who? We're doing this for Steve Kennedy. Hell Steve yeah. Peace, my friend. Yes, sir, ice the bar champion. <laughs> wow, dude, that was real. Wow, <laughs> Steve Kennedy is rolling in his dirty nap grave. I know, I know. Oh my god. Oh man, okay. Can you just do this already? Oh! Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Oh. I don't care. I don't Woo! even care. You said you were going to do it, and you were going to do Man. it, and you did it. We'll count that and one. you're here too. The ice bar felt good. <laughs> yeah, guys. hell yeah. So here at Kevin's house, we just finished recording uh, an episode of my Purpose and Passion podcast. Just under two hours. It's been a couple months since I've recorded one, and uh, that's really been bothering me because I was doing so well. Uh, at getting one up every week, even if it required me to be in my studio and recording alone, which I absolutely hate. So on this trip, I made sure I brought all my gear. Um, I don't have any other podcast episodes lined up, and actually it wasn't until I got here that I mentioned it to Kevin. So I'm gonna do my best to continue recording podcast episodes when I can. They do take some time, but Kevin and I just did uh, episode 20 something. I don't remember what number I'm on, but Super stoked, talked about his uh, journey through being a tattoo artist and where he's at now with uh, a shop here in Las Vegas called Neo Tokyo. Dang. Dang. What up, Ripley? What's up, everyone? We are still uh, a mess. <laughs> Sorry, pal. We're just outside of Las Vegas. We are in Henderson. I was gonna say Henderson, Las Vegas. No, Henderson, Nevada. We're in Henderson, Henderson, Nevada. This is the first stop of the trip. It's all falling apart already. Pretty broken trip already. Come off the rails. We are um, gonna ride this cool little skate park. It's got like two ledges, but they look fun. Rails too, though. A couple of rails apparently. Yeah. Uh, I didn't film anything yesterday. Uh, we didn't ride. Um, we just kind of hung out and relaxed. I recorded a podcast episode with Kevin. And uh, we all went out to a really sweet steakhouse last night called Cleaver and was respectful and didn't film anything in there and all that. So had some time to ourselves. Now we're gonna ride for a little bit and we are about 30 minutes from the Hoover Dam, which I've never seen before. And neither is these two, right? You guys haven't seen it yet? Been. I've always wanted to see it. I'm a history nerd. I've watched plenty of documentaries about the thing being built and all that. So I'm really excited to see that. Beautiful weather. <laughs> Ripley's in a bush. Ripley's inside that bush. Yeah, dude. And then we're headed down to Phoenix, which is about four hours from there. So we're gonna drive down to the desert this afternoon and hopefully get some rad time lapse shots for you guys. The drive from here to Vegas, I've not, or from here to Phoenix, I haven't done yet. So we're not hitting like major highways from here to Phoenix. We're taking just like a road through the desert. So it will be pretty cool to uh, see that scenery right around sunset. <laughs> no! <laughs> 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 
<laughs> wow, she jumped up that ledge like she was 20 pounds. Whoa, obstacles. <laughs> <laughs> Run away from it. <laughs> Fuck! Oh no! <laughs> that was it. I just looped out too hard. Ooh, that was weird. That right counts. <laughs> that counts. Papos. What do you think of Alex's attitude? I love it. You love his attitude? Yeah, dude. <laughs> what do you think, Chippy? What do you think, Chippy? He just wants it to be perfect. I get it. I'm OCD <laughs> like that too. <laughs> no, we're doing that one again. Dude. Yes, brother. First try? What? Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad I'm wearing all black, including pants yeah. with a black hat and the Nevada desert sun. That's sweet. I'm happy. <laughs> yeah, I'm matching Ripley. They're spot checks. This whole thing's a spot check. Yeah. I don't know how as many tricks as you, so I have to save my tricks. <laughs> <laughs> like, if they're all the same every single park, I don't want to do that shit either. That's all I'm doing. Yeah, but still. Same clips.